From the all-new Fathead Studios in Speedway, Indiana, this is The Skinny. With the founder and CEO of Fathead's Eyewear, Rico Elmore. Well, welcome to The Skinny. My name's Rico Elmore, as I think I said earlier. Founder and CEO of Fathead's Eyewear. Today I've got a good friend, longtime Speedway resident, Speedway Town Council Vice President, former Speedway President or Town Council President, and a, a bunch of other things. A, yeah, a lot of things. A <laughs> lot of things. So anyhow, thank you for coming today. My pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, I guess I guess one thing we could start talking about is, you know, when we when we uh, when we first start talking about moving to Speedway, you know, yeah. and uh, amongst other things. That's probably more of the PG rated that we can talk about. (laughs) Right, right, right. But uh, I don't know if we were in Brownsburg or we were, you know, or if we were in Indy by then. But, you know, it was always an aspiration to move, you know, to Speedway. Of course, we wanted to move, you know, right next door to the track if I had my way. And, uh, you know, which is probably a good idea that we didn't. (laughs) Being that, uh, you know, there's a lot of fun that goes on there and things like that. But, uh you know, we're excited to be here. Uh, it's, it's been, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a lot of work getting here. Uh, it's been even more work transforming a building from the early sixties to uh, a building of use today and, and all the, you know, tech stuff and ethernet and all this and that, that goes into it. But, uh, you know, you look at it from the outside, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a work of art. I mean, it's beautiful architecture, of course, but then you look at it inside and, mm-hmm. you know, we tried to try to carry the theme on. So first and foremost, thanks for, uh, for alerting us to, you know, that this may be a possibility. Mm-hmm. And with a little bit of vision, we were able to, to make it happen along with you and the, you know, the folks with Speedway. So, yeah, you know, and that's, and you touched on it that, um, you know, you had, you had reached out to me several years ago, um, and even before I was even on town council. And um, you always had interest in, in Speedway and, and thought it made sense for your business and your business model. Um, and we never could find the right fit, um, the right piece of property, um, the right deal. We just never could find it. <clears throat> and um, development continued and uh to be honest with you uh this was way off of our radar because all of our our um you know our focus was over around the main street area um around the the roundabout corridor and um and once we really started to establish that whole area um then our focus started to to, to crawl further west out crawfordsville road and then obviously towards uh, high school road and um the town of speedway sat on on this particular uh, particular property uh, I want to say close to seven, eight years, and um, we had, had no idea what to do with it because we had no idea what we what what our plan was, what the what the scope of of this whole um, four sixty five high school road Crawfordsville Road corridor was going to look like. And um, I remember the phone call. Just I think I was driving down the street here, and and something just kind of hit me and thought, well, well, maybe this is something of interest. And that's when I called and, and, um, and, and it was, uh, you know, it was put out for RFP and, and, um, there was other interest in this piece of property. And I think that the, um, that the SRC, the Speedway Redevelopment Commission looked at this and, and said, and looked at your proposal and, uh, they were, they were most impressed with, um, the, 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 what you were what the plan was for this building first of all you were going to preserve it you were going to uh rehab it because like you said it's it's a beautiful building especially more so now and it was job creation you were bringing business i guess it was something when we walked over here and 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 came in the building and looked at what an absolute wreck it was you know the condition of it and you know the way the people had left it unfortunately that we're here prior to, you mm-hmm. know, us many years ago. And it's one of those things that takes a lot of vision to make things mm-hmm. happen sometimes. And uh, it was uh, delightfully, it turned out the way it did. To say that it's been a wild ride is probably an understatement. 
it's a place that everybody is proud to come to, that everybody uh, loves the place and loves being here. And uh, that's one of my main goals is making a, a comfortable work environment. Yeah, it's been awesome. And, you know, we put this podcast studio in, um, you know, for us to uh, to be able to pop in and knock out interviews and, you know, talk to our, uh, you know, our sponsored athletes or, you know, friends like yourself and things like that that go along with it. So the bottom line is, is we love it in Speedway. And, you know, there's a lot of people that, that are like, you moved to where? You know, but the access, you know, from here to jump on the interstate, uh, I mean, you can get to the airport within 10, 15 minutes. Um, you know, the businesses that are around that are supporting and the ones that are, the ones that are, you know, that are being added or coming along as it, as it grows, you know, that's, that's the other nice part of it. You know, we wanted to be not in, but we also wanted to be a part of a growing community, you know, and, and, and growing, when I say growing, growing business wise, speaking of the speedway. So how, tell me how the Indianapolis Motor Speedway has a, has a place in your heart. Uh, let's see. Well, I, uh, I grew up here in Speedway. I, I grew up literally right across the street from, um, from the, the main straightaway. So when I'd wake up in the morning, uh, I'd, rise myself out of bed and I could see the, 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 the sweets from the outside and I always thought, man, I want to, I want to figure out a way to be one of those people up there. So, um, I got involved with racing through, uh, my father and, and, um, uh, I, I just stooged for a couple, uh, a small, uh, an Indy car team here in town and, and, um, Finally got into uh, ownership on the Indy Light side of things with myself and Tyce Carlson and a couple other uh, partners that we had and just learned the business that way and the hard way um, and just have been involved ever so since. So how was that owning a car? Is it as much as it's cracked up to um, be? It, <laughs> <laughs> uh, on, on the days, the, the best day ever was when we finished... Um, uh, second at Mid Ohio with Wade Cunningham, um, and there, you know, there were several lows, and um, one of which was when, uh, you know, we were go going into uh, the the next racing season, and and we had hired uh, Shane Meal to drive our car, uh, and he was um, he was injured in an accident, as you well know, injured uh, in an accident in Terre Haute, um, and so that was a low. That was when. Um, I kind of decided I needed to, to back out of this. And so um, I, I got out of racing for a little while and it, and it, it was actually Shane that said, uh, I saw him at, uh, at your suite at, uh, at Lucas Oil Raceway. And I saw him a year or two later, it might've been, and, and I saw him and he said, hey, uh, if I'm still in racing, you, you should be too. So I got back in and, and uh, here we are. I've been, been involved ever since on uh, sponsorship procurement, um, management um team management hospitality so here we are and i understand your uh your comment about shane and mm -hmm. and i gotta tell you you know we were you know we were very involved uh in 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 a lot of racing things and that was really our 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 way that we were going to bring you know fat heads to the forefront mm -hmm. and everybody to know who we were and uh, you know we were we were very very involved in it, and um, it, yeah, a few of those things happened, and uh, some other things fe uh, fed into it as well. And uh, we did we stepped away from it, and I mean stepped away from it in a big way. I get it, and you know we have since you know started dabbling back into it and starting moving started moving back in to the to the program mm -hmm. and uh you know and and i'm glad we're back i, I really am i i take a lot of uh take a lot of enjoyment in it take a take a lot of uh a lot of pride in the people that we're involved with too and you know i and i you know that goes both ways so you know we got to be involved with people that you know believe in our products as well as we believe in them mm -hmm. so uh, one without the other never works, and uh, you know it's uh, 
it's a business deal or much like a friendship you know it's uh if one's got to work harder than the other one then it's not a good relationship mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh i do get it because i uh a few like you said a few of those things happened and uh all I could think about the whole time that it was going on was, you know, I'm providing the money to make that happen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you know what, uh, listen, man, we got one of these to live and, uh, and when it's time, it's time. Yep. And yep. if you, if you're not, if you're not trying to flat foot it around Terre Haute, like, uh, Shane was, yeah, right. you know, you're trying to, uh, you know, and, 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 and get hurt you know horribly uh you, you may be just walking across the street and get hurt worse you know yeah, so absolutely. it's uh it but you know the great thing about shane is you know he is he has persevered you know and he's shown a lot of people what life is really about that's right and uh he said i'm a he said i'm a lucky man that this happened to me he goes i'm a better person now than i've ever mm. been in my yeah, life yeah and so you know there's there's a lot uh there's a lot to be said about that you know sometimes it takes tragedy in your life for you to mm -hmm. you know for you to get turned around and and say hey i got another chance at this let's see how good i can right. make it this time so yeah. but you know i uh i totally uh i totally get it i uh you know it's uh i think that we've uh I think that we've got, you know, we've only just begun with a lot of, you know, with all the cool things that are going on and it's all about timing, you know, and when it's time, you know, that's when, uh, that's, you know, maybe when it'll be our time right. versus, yeah. uh, versus everyone else. So, uh, but you honor that speedway, you know, you honor that track and, mm -hmm. and what it's about. And, you know, I mean, listen. I used to come to the Speedway and I, you know, I lived, uh, you know, I lived in Newcastle. I came to the Speedway and, and, uh, you know, one of my greatest memories at the Speedway was, you know, I, I, of course, being the model student that I was, had to have my, you know, had to have my mom with me on the school field trip that, uh, you know, we went there and I said to my mom, Hey, I got to use the bathroom, which really meant, Hey, I want to go look around, <laughs> right, you know? Right. So, uh, so we go and check everything out and you know i'm walking down through there and here's uh you know here's aj foyt coming out of the firestone uh building right and uh, uh where it used to be under the bleachers mm -hmm. right there right outside the old gasoline yep. alley and you know I had some old bum piece of paper you know i didn't even have a, 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 a you know a program or anything and and he was raising hell with them in there, you know, of course, because it was the tire's fault, I'm sure, yeah, right. you know. Course, and yeah. uh, <laughs> and I walked right up to him and I said, uh, can I have your autograph? And he said, yes, son. And he said, absolutely, son, let me sign that. And he signed it and I said, man, this place is, this place is amazing. And always as a kid, Rick Mears was my, oh, yeah. my favorite. I mean, he was just a, just was and still is a class act. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I thought, I, I thought Danny Sullivan was unbelievable, just his, his path and how he got there. Right. And, uh, cab driver to Indy 500. Win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The spin and win, yeah. you know, yeah. and, uh, and there's things that, things that are hard to, uh, hard to fathom, right. you know, and, uh, and the emotions and the things that were going on. And I mean, I remember setting with my dad, if we didn't get, you know, we never really, we didn't go to the race back then that much, but you know, we would go do other things there and v would visit. Like, I think, a, I think a lot of people do, you know, mm -hmm. and I, you know, uh, the good thing about the speedway is now they've made it, you know, they've made it, uh, where families can go a little bit easier right. now yeah. than, than, you know, and, and I think better than that, they've advertised it that that you can you know that it's you you can family go friendly, you know, family yeah. friendly and you know there won't be a car on fire in the snake pit right. and all that the good yeah. stuff but right. uh <laughs> but no i mean i i remember you know some of my fondest moments of this of the 500 was you know uh maybe working with my dad cleaning out his work van he had a he had a green um he had a green AM radio that had like the United States 
like imprinted in the front of it he'd crank that dude on and mm. we'd be out there you know the whole day and usually just hotter than hell yeah. you know and oh yeah if you're a kid you're too stupid to realize how hot <laughs> right. it is at that point yeah. in time didn't you matter. know didn't yeah. matter yeah it was it was a pretty magical time but you know but then you know as as i you know got older and then of course moved over here you know we would go we would spend more time at the race and mm -hmm. we would go to the race but going to the race was just going to the race and getting the hell back out of speedway right out of this hell hole <laughs> right. you know what i mean oh, and, yeah. uh there wasn't the nicest things here like the wild cherry which you know that's it's, it's I'm, I'm unfamiliar with very that. upsetting yeah. that you guys tore that building down <laughs> that uh i thought they would be a national landmark but mm. uh anyhow you know places like that but i mean that's that's what the cool part is is you know you guys have come in and you know and and even the folks before you mm -hmm. but you know as of recently it really seems like it's it's uh <clears throat> it's it's moving a lot faster for those who helped before you know to get it moving period mm -hmm. because it wasn't doing anything before i mean main street was a was a cut through oh, and, yeah. and uh you know it was uh it was a it was you know somewhat of a tough place and you know it's uh and everybody that grew up here i mean it's just like me growing up in newcastle it's not much different the only thing that's different is speedway has the world's greatest you know race in the world right. that happens here yeah. you know and uh and uh newcastle has the world's largest field house but that really isn't a reason to stay there <laughs> so uh but but no i mean you know it uh you know, I moved here for work. I moved here for to grow, and I moved here to uh, to have you know, as 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 my hayseed ass would say, I moved here to move to the city, you know, <laughs> right. and uh, yeah. and figure out how to how to maybe do it a little bit bigger and a little bit better. So, right. but you know, at the end of the day, it, it's uh, you know we we uh, we've enjoyed every bit of it, and. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been, uh, it's been great. And the things that are moving in this, in, in, in Speedway, you know, you're not in the downtown Indianapolis or Castleton where you can't move and, right. and, and, you know, you're setting in traffic nonstop, you know, you're not, you're not setting in that stuff. Uh, and as this grows and as more things happen, yeah, there's probably going to be some infrastructure problems that need to be addressed. But, you know, at this point, you know, it's uh, it's pretty easy to navigate and get around and get through. Yeah. And, you know, if you guys want to mess all the parking up on Main Street. But <clears throat> Thanks. No, just but, kidding. <laughs> but, you know, what's what's interesting is that, um, you know, growing up here, um, you know, like like in Newcastle, I'm sure there was probably like a town square place where kids would cruise to or Broad Street. Out. Broad Street in Newcastle. Yep. So we, were, we didn't have that here in Speed. We don't have a town center, town, you know, square. Uh, the only thing that kids you know, had to do on a Friday night was, you know, go to the Noble Romans at 30th and High School, where the CVS is now that used to be a, uh, a Noble Romans. That's where we would go for, uh, you know, after ball games. But it, it was my senior year, and, and I thought, you know what, we're going to try something. So I, I got some people together and I said, Hey, after the ball game, let's go cruise down main street and hang out. So, all right. So we had a, you know, 15, 20 cars following us down main street. So we go down main street and not a single place is open and you can see a tumbleweed go down the middle. You make one pass. Now we're done. Now what? Head back <laughs> over to Nova Roman. So back right. then there was nothing. There was right. a, there was a, a, a pet store plumbing supply store maybe that was about it but nothing was open and to watch uh the transformation uh over the last few years and and um you know a lot of good people um got us to uh, got us going and um some very smart people here um you know that, that are pushing this thing forward as we grow and and look we're not we're not pretending and nor do we want to pretend that we're a caramel or we're a fountain square or we're a broad ripple you know we're a speedway so we we're very um cognizant of who you we got, are you got your own identity that's all we want to do man right and we just want to do our thing but that's the cool part right. don't who want you know that's right if you want to be caramel go to caramel if you want to be fountain right. square go to yep. fountain square yep. and that's 
and that's the cool part of it. It's got its own identity, Absolutely. and uh, and you know, and and you know, talk about Main Street. I mean, the events that are held there, and mm-hmm. I mean, you know, take like like any good politician, you know, and I'm not saying that of you, but most good most politicians will take all credit for anything that ever happens. <laughs> But you got to realize it's the great people of Speedway that have made it happen. Absolutely, that have been here, that have that have hung on, mm-hmm. that have been in their house for twenty years, that have never moved out of that house, yeah. and and you know now that house it was worth, you know, uh, uh, fifty thousand dollars, maybe worth eighty five thousand mm-hmm. dollars now, where before it would it it never appreciated, was always depreciating as the way yeah. as, as it went and. You know, and they deserve that. Those folks that 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 hung on and said, "You know what? I'm Speedway, and I'm not I'm not going anywhere." That's right. Yeah. And uh, and I've met a lot of them, and I mean, I think it's I think it's very cool, and a lot of them were very interested in what we were doing here. Oh yeah. You know, and and uh, and that was that was that was okay. I mean, I had no issue with that, and uh, you know, it was amazing. I found the original people who built this building. Uh, when it was Rotes or Rots Engineering, however you'd like to pronounce it. And uh, I found them, and the guy still had some mechanical drawings, so I wanted anything I could get of the building or for the building. And, uh, you know, the funny the funny thing about it is, is when I asked him for them, he said... Uh, he said, well, he goes, I got a few questions first. What are, you, what are you doing with that building? And I mean, this guy hasn't been in this building for 30 years. Right. And he still has ownership That's to right. it in his mind and yeah. in his heart. And, uh, you know, I told him what we were doing. And we're yet to have him out. We we are hoping to do that soon when it works. Uh, when it's not minus 37 degrees <laughs> right. or uh, uh, yeah. plus a hundred and plus degrees, you yeah. know, so, uh, you know, we, we want to have him out and as well as, you know, we want to have a, a, you know, an open house, a grand opening type of thing and invite, you know, invite, uh, some media out and let them walk the building mm-hmm. and, uh, let them walk the building and check out the new warehouse area and things like that. So it, uh, it should be, uh, I mean, it, we're not going anywhere. So, I mean, we're going to be here and do our thing. So, uh, you know, I was talking about my, my, my favorite time at the speedway. What, something that's most memorable kid, adult, any of the above. Hmm. Wow. Uh, there's so other than to get to hang out with me. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's very memorable. That goes without saying, uh, probably, well, um, you know, as a kid, um you know growing up you know again across the street and and um you know go over to the to the track uh with my grandpa but you know one story that i enjoyed the most um uh and i i tell this and i told uh, doug bowles this a couple weeks ago um because it's about the it's about the relationships that you build and the people and it's that whole experience that that i right. and the people i right. miss really enjoy and and um uh one of my favorites of all time uh didn't happen necessarily in the track it was because you know i was parking cars as a kid and, and uh we had a very small front yard uh and one day well, it was the day before the race and it was still pretty quiet and, and a greyhound bus came down our street and uh stopped in front of our house and and a guy kind of picked his head out of the driver's seat and said hey kid are you parking cars and i'm like sure yeah we're parking and he goes, well, will you park this? And I said, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. And now he, then he asked the, the magic question, well, how much? Well, I'm, you know, I'm like seven or eight years old. I really don't have a concept of money. Uh, so I just kind of threw the, you know, the $200, you know, I had no idea. It sounded big, <laughs> right. sounded like a million dollars, but uh, he's like, okay, uh, where do you want us? So I'm like, oh my God, now what am I gonna do? So backed him into the driveway. And at that point I'm thinking, okay, while they're doing this, I need to run inside and let my mom know that we now have a Greyhound, Greyhound bus, bus parked in, in our front yard. So, um, so got that done. She, she, um, you know, she wasn't happy happy with me at the time, but uh, as the day went on and and uh, as actually the years went on, because they became kind of our our extended family. They came from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, uh, parked in our front yard uh, yard for probably. 
uh, 18 years, maybe 15, 18 years. And, um, and, uh, they were 28 guys would come and, and, and set up their, uh, shop. And they were always very, you know, courteous and very thoughtful for uh, my mom and, and my sister and I. And, and it was always fun. Um, you know, every year they would, they would bring us a gift, you know, a t-shirt or something from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Well, one year they forgot to, uh, bring us a gift. So they stopped off the side of the road on the way out and uh, a team of them got out on the interstate and um, took the Fond du Lac population, 35,000, whatever, took that green sign off of <laughs> the, off the mounting post, put it in the bus and brought it with them. So I use that sign every year to mark their spot. And, and uh, it's those kind of things that I remember the most. Um, I love the Speedway, um, obviously. Um, involved with it i couldn't imagine not uh, but someday it will happen but but so I'm gonna so write doug it so doug loved the story i remember I, I, yeah. I talked to you about it love the story have you found them so um we're, I, I found one so yeah so doug asked me if uh if i've talked to uh, any of them if i could find them because it'd be a great story to see if they'd be around I, you know they were they were a hundred years old when I was eight, so I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm right. thinking there's no possible way. Right. Well, right. Um, come to find out that uh, the the ringleader of you know the the group, we did find we did find a Fond du Lac. So um, I think we're efforting a uh, uh, a trip from Fond du Lac to Indy and, and like to give them uh, a behind the scenes look. Never in a million years would they have thought that little kid uh, that little kid us. that parked them. Yeah. That is, and you know what? And that's what it's about. And I mean, you know, my, my daughter was talking about um, somebody that parks at their house, which, you know, is right around the corner mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and, you know, the same thing. And I mean, they've only been there a couple of years, but I mean, it's a, it's every race or whatever. They've got an RV, they're coming over there mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. and that's, you know, and you know, to that point, what Doug was talking about and what you were, you know, what you were sharing with me, you know, that's putting it back in the community. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I thought, you know, I, I thought one of the things when, you know, when, um, you know, when I heard of some of the developments that were going to go on around the speedway that have yet to be announced and some things like that, that just, you know, that are in the grapevine right now, kind of hearing it. You know, I thought to myself, why are they going to get rid of this parking? Or why are they going to cause, I mean, this is going to cause a, a, a bigger issue with more things right here. And then hearing him say that, I'm like, that is genius. Mm -hmm. Have you ever, you've never been to Green Bay, right? Did we have this conversation, right? Been. Okay. So I went to Green Bay, Wisconsin with with Chuki, mm -hmm. you know, he played there for a couple of years. And, and when I, when I went with him, I was, I was like, well, you know, where are we going to park? I mean, we had passes and everything, you know, the team had taken good care of them. And uh, I said, well, where are we going to park? He says, oh, down here. And we, <laughs> we turned down this road. The next thing, you know, we're pulled in somebody's yard and we walk, I don't know. We walk, uh, you know, a half quarter mile and we're in the building. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, after that happened, I thought to myself, man, that is cool. Mm -hmm. That was really, that was really cool. Now it's freezing, but I mean, <laughs> that, part. that part was not cool. Yeah. Okay. It was freezing. Like it is steaming hot here in May. Right. So, but I thought to myself, man, that is, that is, that is really cool. So anyhow, we went, uh, you know, we went, uh, we went to the game and I never forgot that experience. And I thought about that experience when you were talking about, you know, about, uh, uh parking this bus and, and you sent me the picture of the mm -hmm. bus with the guys with the Fond du Lac, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sign yeah. and things like that. And I mean, that's, that's what brings it back to Indy. It's not, you know, uh, uh you know, there's a place for people that want to park in a parking lot that want to maybe wear, uh, you know, uh, uh, their Sunday outfit to mm -hmm. go to a suite or whatever to, to do it like that. That's okay too. 
But you know what? There's a hell of a lot more that want to sit in those stands and they want to tailgate or they want to park in, you know, in Jeff's, Jeff's yard. Mm -hmm. Save me a spot. I'll be back next year. If I'm not back by this day, give me, give my spot away, whatever, right. or yeah. by this time, yeah. you know, and, and that's what it's about. That is what the relationship with the Speedway and Speedway Indiana has in common, you know, and it's not, you know, the Speedway is not a burden on Speedway Indiana. It's actually something that's good for, you know, for the Speedway. Right. So that's the, uh, that's the cool part of it. And uh, you got to think, man, I, I, I know that they, you know, they would never trim the numbers for any reasons there, but you know, the hundredth running, there was a half million people in that place. No doubt. And, you know, at the end of the day, what a magical, magical experience. I mean, just from the outside looking in and, you know, I'm, I'm a lot more to the inside than a lot, you know, but from the outside looking in, you know, my perspective, it was, you know, I, I never forget looking, you know, standing out on the front balcony at our suite and, uh, Forrest Lucas standing there with me and just said, is this not the most amazing thing you've ever seen? It truly and, is. And it is, it is. I mean, you can't, you can't describe it to somebody because they would not understand right. the magnitude of it and what it's really about. Mm -hmm. It's part of life now, you know, for me more than it's ever been now. And you know, that we're, you know, that we're also involved with, you know, various drivers, mm -hmm. teams and things like that, uh, you know, thanks to your help, by the way, you know, it even makes it more fun, you know, to, uh, to get to, uh, uh, visit with them or be a part of it a little bit more than you were before. So, uh, yeah, it's, I, I'm, I'm excited to, to see if these guys are able to make it back and if they, uh, you know, I'm sure they would want to come back right. if, if that was the case and they had a place to set in a suite, probably not really wanting to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, bleacher warriors mm -hmm. anymore, you know, yeah. and, uh, yeah. have a golf cart to take them over to check out this and mm -hmm. that and not walk, you know, yeah. four miles in one, you know, in, in one oh, yeah. setting. So, yeah. um, yeah, the days of wearing your, uh, empty, uh, cooler on your head on the way back to the bus, I think those days are over. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you never know. But, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it, it's good stuff, but I mean, we, uh, we started this podcast to talk to people like yourself mm -hmm. and, and people that we know and drivers and just to get a different perspective. And, you know, uh, one of the congressmen that U S congressman that I spoke with, you know, he, he said, well, what's the agenda? I said, there is none. Mm -hmm. I said, we just start talking about stuff and it just kind of ends up where it ends up. And, yeah. you know, it's, uh, it's a lot better that way. It's not structured and, you know, you're worried about, did I hit all my points and all right. this and that. Yeah. And so any, uh, anything coming up in Speedway that's of, of any, of any interest or um, anything that's, uh, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we've got quite a bit going on. Um, we just recently purchased a building, uh, at the corner of Lynnhurst and Crawfordsville road. It was formerly the, uh, the PNC bank building. And it's a two-story plus uh, a basement uh, building, about 44,000 square feet. And, you know, we, uh, those before me, town leaders for decades have been looking at that building thinking, man, at some point, this would be a really, really good place for a town hall, town center, community space, that kind of thing. Well, um, the, the time, timing was right. And uh, so we, we bought that property from PNC and we're, we're going through the, um, you know, the design phase, the, the feasibility studies, the, you know, what, what departments are going to be in where those kind of things now. So, so that's going to be an ongoing project and we think that we should have um, um, construction completed probably by April of 2020. Um, so that's one project. Um, another, the Speedway Redevelopment Commission, have, they've been very busy uh, and they continue great work. Uh, so they are redeveloping. They've got uh, some spaces on uh, 1300 block of Main Street. So that's, uh, that's being worked on now. 
Um, and then, of course, we've got this corridor out here uh, on, uh, it's called, the, well, we call it the 2500 uh, High School Road. So it's that, that large piece of property that's... Um, Up at the corner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just south of here. So... Um, and, that, and, and you know what? That's the gateway to Speedway. Right. And what did it used to be? It awful. was, yeah, it was, it was uh, some awful. seedy, some seedy uh, motels, and you uh, rolled it. You rolled in Speedway and right back out of yeah, Speedway after yeah, the you race. You did not stay at the Hojo um, in, yeah. the, in the late '90s, <laughs> early 2000s. So, um, so yeah, so we've got that parcel, um, and we're we're talking to several different uh, developers. We want it right. We want it. We want to make it right, and uh, this is our one chance to get it right. Uh, so yeah, we continue to work on those type of things. There's more in the pipeline. Uh, we've got to get creative because we can't just go and start buying farmers land. We're landlocked, so we've got to redevelop. And that's one thing that we're, we're proud of is that, you know, we've got smart people, um, working on these things. So that's what we're, we're, we're doing. It's amazing for the people, the town of Speedway, it's amazing for them too. And now it's become a place that. You know, you didn't even have to grow up here to want to move here. Right. That that's saying something for, you know, the community and the leadership and people like that that are making mm -hmm. it happen. So, with that, I think I've taken up enough of your time today, and you need to get back to being vice president of the council <laughs> and everything else, else you do. So. <laughs> But I appreciate it. Yeah, thank and, you for uh, having me. It was, a, it was an honor, actually. Yeah. And thanks for being a good friend. You're welcome. So, Carl, we're out. 44. This episode of The Skinny has been brought to you by Fatheads Eyewear. Check out all of our unique eyewear lines for men and women at fatheads.com. To read more about Rico's history, his blog, and philanthropies, visit his personal page at ricoelmore.com.